Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Valita's World. I'm Carmelita, and this is my vlog, my YouTube channel, Valita's World Life After Retirement. I'm on my way to physical therapy. Those of you who follow my channel, um, as you all know, I have severe arthritis in both my knees as well as carpetano and nerve damage um, in my hands. So today is physical therapy day for my hands. I canceled, I stopped going for my knees. I was going twice a week um, and I've been going for the last couple of months for my knees and my hand. And um, I will let you all know what's been going on, the reason why I stopped going for my arthritis in my knees. One, I'm gonna tell you the main reason, the cost, the copay. Every time I go to the doctor, my copay for physical therapy is $40 each visit, not a week, each visit. So I'm going twice a week, that's $80 a week. That's not including my gas because I have to drive. I have a 45 minute drive, 45, 50 minute drive to um, physical therapy. So as you can see, that's very costly. So I'm spending about $100 a week um, going to physical therapy. So I canceled for the needs because they said, well, as long as I go to my gym, which I need to go back to, um, and get on the bike or in the pool, and in the pool, the jacuzzi, the warm part for my knees, and that'll help, uh, that'll help, ooh, that'll help with, arth with the arthritis. Ooh, something's going on. All these cops. I never seen that. No cops look like that before. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm sorry I got distracted. So um, that's what I, uh, the reason I stopped going for my knees because it's just too costly. And I scheduled a couple of more visits for my hand. Um, this is a lot of money, but I'm trying to do whatever I can do for my health. Uh, and they said that, you know, this is um, what it's gonna be like. They're, they can give me relief, um, but it'll never be uh, cured, it's uncurable. The severe arthritis, everybody know once Arthur said in that set, and nerve damage, um, it takes, I asked them, I said, well, I was researching, and they said that you can repair your nerves. He said, uh, and the therapist was explaining to me, you can get fine relief, but you're not gonna be able to repair it. And yes, some of your cells will grow back, he says, but that takes years. You're talking six years, seven years for your your nerve, uh, your nerve dam your nerves to grow back and heal. And I'm like, oh my God, I thought that it was something that can happen, you know. Um, overnight when I'm following these other doctors and they're telling you what to eat to cure your nerve damage and all this and that. Don't mean I'm not going to do it. I'm still going to work toward, you know, whatever I can to get my health in order. But, um, yeah, so enough about that. Let's move on. Um, it does feel a little better. They did explain to me that, yeah, uh, uh, they know I'm retired. And I was like, yeah, but... You know, I could never do a, a regular full-time eight-hour job because of my knees, you know, and my hand and stuff. And, and the young guy gonna say, uh, and it's not like you haven't retired, you're retired, so you won't have to worry about that. No, but I do need it to be down that I am disabled. I would like to, uh, ha I would have liked to have a second uh, job or whatever. You know, I would like to have been able to, uh, do my eBay business more than 10 hours through the week because my hands um, is my hands 
be numbing up on me and stuff so I can't do much you know so my little eBay business I do do that part-time you know I, I may do about 10 hours uh, 15 hours a week because like I said my hands get to numbing up on me and hurting so I can only do so much but uh, yeah and I'm like okay so anyway enough about that I went to our local Goodwill yesterday so I have a Goodwill haul coming up for you all I'm going to do that when I get home um, my Goodwill haul was pretty good I spent $55 and I'll show you guys some items that I got and hopefully you'll like them hopefully they'll sell quick um, my other items from Plato's Closet none of that stuff have sold yet um, because I'm not taking no lowball offers on, on on high end items I'm not doing that it is sale um, so any oh did the short sell I don't know but anyway I've been selling little stuff here and there online um, and that's a good thing it's not that nothing's selling things are selling uh, not as much so like I said I'm trying to build my closet back up with stuff that people want and will buy fast quick selling items so I'm gonna hang up now you guys just want to say good morning how's everybody doing um, if you like this content uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel um, please share my videos with your friends and family and guys I'm gonna come back a little later when I get home uh, after physical therapy and we're gonna do this um, we're gonna do I'm gonna show you what all I got yesterday when I went out um, the sourcing at Goodwill okay oh guys and guess what I ha they didn't have any baskets so I came I went to my car and I brought took out my walker good thing I took out my walker it made it so much easier using my walker um, because this time I was able to lay my clothes across my walker better than I did at uh, Plato's closet it was kind of hard at Plato's closet because I didn't know I had never used my walker before in that manner so um, this time I used my walker and it worked perfect guys I, I, my legs didn't hurt me as much because I was able to sit down on my walker and I just went through the clothes you know sitting on my walker and, and pulling stuff out and, you know I was just making it work so I was able to stand it I, I was there for about three hours I uh, thank God um, for the walker because that really helped and I just sat down and um, looked over the clothing items and then I went home and that was it for the day I couldn't do no more I was that wore me out in itself but it was a good day so I'll come back you guys when I get out of physical therapy talk to you later I got this drive ahead bye for now from the doctors don't mind um cooper he up there barking i don't know why paulette and i'm getting ready to leave i'm in the basement um i'm not in the ebay room that's on the other side of this wall so i'm sitting out in the lounge in the in the i say the rec room bar area whatever you want to call it but i wanted to show you guys uh what i got at goodwill 
yesterday, um, since I didn't film it when I got back, I was too tired, but I got this Albert Nip Nippon um, jacket for only $6. It's a nice, very stylish jacket. See the details? Look at that. And um, I couldn't find a price on it. And then when I picked it up, a ticket fell out for saying $6.50. But I just knew this jacket could not be $6.00 and 50 cents so i took it up when i went to check out see the detailing look at that when i went to check out um i asked the young lady i said hey this jacket has six dollars i see a little stain here or something oh that's like powder or something on it but i'm gonna make sure i clean it um it has six dollars on it is it really six dollars because that fell out but it wasn't tagged and she said, it's $6.50. I said, okay. I was going to leave it behind, but for $6.50, I got it. You know, some things I get, whether they sell or not, is something that can be donated to a woman's shelter or something like that. But I'm, I'm going to try and get this sold probably on Poshmark. I think somebody will probably buy this on Poshmark. But I'm going to put it on all platforms. But yeah, this is my first find. All together, like I told you guys early in the vlog, I spent um, $55, $53 or $55. So that was $6.50. Uh, orange tag was the sale tag. Um, these I just got because of the print. These are um, New York and Company. New York and Company sells, but not for a lot. Uh, but because they're wide leg, oh my God, look at that. They're wide leg, they're large size. The print is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and it was orange tag. They were only $3.12. So I had to get them. Yeah, this is a size large. And they stretch, they that they stretch. They're really um, a nice ma stretch material. They're, um, I think it's rayon and yeah, it's poly it's not rayon, it's 91% polyester and 9% and, uh, spandex. So that's great, That's a, and it comes with pockets. Wide legs with pockets, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to really put that in the description. So that's that. See the legs wide. Okay. Next, I also got, oh my God, this is uh this was also $3.50, and this is selling for $20. Uh, Briggs, Briggs, New York. And I see I seen one, it was sold for 19, the exact skirt. Uh, just recently sold for $19.99. Now, I never heard of Briggs, New York and Company, but the print was so nice and the skirt is so heavy. A lot of uh, YouTubers um, said that pay attention to the weight and the fabric of the clothes because I was buying a lot of cheap clothes at first. That's why I was only selling them. A lot of my stuff is selling for $7 and $10. Because of the fabric and the and the, uh, the even though some of it have uh, high you know sell through rates, but they're cheap material. And the more expensive the material, even though the it may not be a big name brand, uh, people who know quality they know what to buy. And this is a good quality, heavy, especially for the uh, fall and winter skirt. Just beautiful. Oh my God, I, yeah. So hopefully I'll get $19.99 like the person sold the one I seen for. They were selling for 19. Really, it started off, I think, uh, $15 and up to $19.99. So 
that's great. And it's going to take a beautiful picture. I got two of them. Now, that one was $3. This one was... Um, this one is not as heavy as that one. This is a vintage one. That one's not vintage. This is vintage. Yeah, I can tell this is vintage. But this one was full price, $6. It's not as heavy. And 24 cents. Still, once again, another beautiful pattern. Another beautiful pattern. And I'll sell it. I'll make sure I put in there vintage. All right. Now, these jeggings were only three something. Um, I didn't see a lot of jeggings sold, uh, but this is a Gibson and Latimer. Now, I did see some sales on, for Gibson and Latimer on shirts and regular pants and stuff, but these were because of the plaid. Look at that. I'm like, oh, these is cute for some jeggings. So hopefully I didn't see no jeggings uh, up for sale or sold. And because of that, and I did see that they were selling, this brand was selling, they didn't have a lot uh, up for sale. Sell through rate is probably, was probably like 40%, 35, 40%. Um, but because it was so few, I decided to take a chance. And, and I'm talking on Poshmark and on eBay. But Poshmark, they were selling for way more than on eBay. Poshmark, they were selling for like uh, uh, $15, $14, eBay, they were selling for like 10, 12. And some items were selling for 20. So for $3, orange tag, I grabbed it, $3.12. Now, uh, that's when I go to the Goodwill store, I do try and look for the whatever is on sale. And yesterday was orange tag, 50% off. So... And what I noticed about this Goodwill, it's not like the one in Villa Rica. The one in Villa Rica, the prices are all over the place. I noticed every tag I looked at pretty much was only $6.24. Every tag. I probably seen a few tags saying seven something. But it, the, that was the highest price tag that I seen in my Goodwill. Um, in the items that I was looking at in the woman's clothing item, even in the men's. So that's good because the Goodwill in um, Villa Rica, baby, $10, $14, $16, stuff like that. Now, these is some Banana Republic pants. I try and stay away from Banana Republic, but what I notice is certain pants sell. Pants like this. Look at that. Look at the belt, the belt and the fabric. Very soft dress pants and they have this tie belt in the front. So, um, and it was orange tag. And I seen a pair just like this, but they were gray and they sold for $19.99. And I checked them out, and they're in really good good condition. They ain't got a little wrinkle from being in the, um, see? And that's the inside. And they're Banana Republic Avery. Um, yeah, machine washable. So this is uh, this viscose, B-I-S-C-O-E. S E a 32% and 66% polyester and 2% elastin E L A S elastin. So, yeah, I like them. I think they're very, very nice. Woman's pants, dress pants. 
for three twenty four. So I was trying to find high end items. Um, pretty much everything that I got, uh, the sell through rates for the clothes that I got was able to find was at least fifteen dollars and up in that store. So. Some of, I don't know what it is, but a couple of items sell for $25 and stuff like that. I think it was those dresses, those skirts. That's how high they were. Um, next, I found these Casper size 22 wide. Gray with pockets front and back. Dress pants. And they are really, really nice. Um, Wide leg, see the leg, like a boot, boot cut, uh, dress slacks. Very heavy material, really thick, really nice, real nice. Made in Bangladesh. Dry, see what it says? Dry clean. It don't say dry clean only, but it says dry clean. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is, this is why I stretch. It has that elastane in it, uh, the viscose and polyester. Yeah, multi-blend. And it was only $3.12 as well. And I love the fact that it also has pockets. <clears throat> Another pair of nice dress pants. Great for the fall, winter, and stuff for work. Ooh, that's a pretty gray. I'm going to try and really capture. Oh, I have my receipt. $53.44 is what I paid. I got to take that back upstairs. I paid full price for this sweater. This sweater sells. This is um, Suzanne Grave. Graver, Weekend, Garver, Graver, Graver, G-R-A-V-E-R, Susan Graver, a Weekend um, line. Isn't that gorgeous? And these, her shirts were selling for like $25, some of her items. And I'm pretty sure I can get $25 for this. This is great, nice, thick material. It was $6.24. I paid full price. And it was selling for $25. That's the reason I went on and paid full price. Baby, look what I found. I have, uh, everybody always talk about Chico's Travelers. Chico's Travelers. Never found a pair of Chico's Travelers out here. Why I found two pair of Chico's Travelers side by side. I paid full price for them. These are selling for $25, something dollars each. And I grabbed them. Yes, I did. New with tags. New with tags. Regular $69. And they're selling for $25. I paid six dollars and twenty four cents for it. I should double my money minus the cost of goods. And then I found another pair of uh, Chico's size three Zenergy and um, paid full price for these as well. But look at those. They're different. Look at that. The fat, the color is the reason I bought them. No, it's not something I will wear um, during the winter. You can, but they're very thin and they're um, like knickers. See the little bow? It has a bow on the, on the leg. So I'm going to really make sure I take that picture and show that. Yeah, this is also Chico's uh, Zenergy, size 3. Also selling for $25 as well. So, 
And I see a lot of sellers that whenever they talk about it, they sell them for pretty high themselves. Next, I got this Zara skirt. Uh, three dollars only. I bought it because it was three dollars, and it's metallic. It's like a metallic material. Look at this. Have you ever seen such a thing? It's so cute. This little skirt by Zara. Metallic see-through skirt. It is really cute. It's a little mini. See? I only paid $3.12 for it. And this is Zara Knit. It's a knit sweater. It's a metallic knit sweater made in China, size small. See that? So everything I bought that was Zara sold, small, medium, large, they sold within a couple of weeks, two, three weeks of being listed. So um, I felt like I would take a chance on this for $3, why not? A night out on the town with your girls, some boots. Yeah, popping. That'd be really nice. Back in my day when I used to, would wear stuff like that. This is, I, you know, I paid full price for this. It's an Eddie Bauer plaid maxi skirt. Look at that print with a slit on the side. Selling, they were sell, all the ones that I seen sold for $19.99. Um, so I said, and up anything that was maxi or um, wool, max, all the plaid max, plaid maxis, wool, and wool, and um, uh, cashmere, they were all they were selling for like $25 and 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 a dollars and. Just the plaid maxis alone was selling for like anywhere from uh, 16 to $20. So I've decided to take a chance and spend full price. And last but not least, I got these tie-dye. They were only, um, I've only seen two or three of these up for sale. Uh, these are, are iron. Ivan Ivans. I didn't see a lot um, on Poshmark or um, on eBay, but the tie dye pants that I did see, they had all sold. And this is a brown tie dye, uh, soft flare fitting. Um, pair of pants. So yeah, I had to grab them guys. You know, I did. It was orange tag, only $3 and they were selling for, uh, 16 to $20. So I got those as well. Well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to the leaders world. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. So YouTube can share my videos, please comment, please, please comment or hit the thumbs up button. When you comment and you put the, and hit the thumbs up button, that lets eBay know that people are talking to me, they're liking my content, and they will continue to push my videos out to more people. And that way I can get more uh, subscribers and eventually get monetized. And for all my returning, uh, subscribers, as always, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't mind these ashy hands. Y'all know I wash my hands all day long because I stay in the restroom. Little TMI, but it's the truth. Um, so before I go, as always, remember, guys, peace, love, and happiness is the only way for the only way to live. Okay, let's do this again. Peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now, and don't forget to subscribe.